Hello everyone, it's May the 13th. I'm Dr. Adam London, Director of the Kent County Health Department, here for today's COVID-19 update. Across the state of Michigan, it's reported there are 48,021 cases of diagnosed COVID-19. That's an increase of 469 over yesterday's number and 4,674 deaths in total statewide. And that's an increase of 90 over the previous day. Here in Kent County, as of this morning, it's reported there are 2,000 444 cases of diagnosed COVID-19, and that is a three-day rolling average of 67 new cases per day. So we continue to see that number stay relatively flat day over day. Unfortunately, however, we are up to 47 deaths here in Kent County. We had a couple of individuals pass who were residents of long-term care homes yesterday, and our thoughts and prayers go out to those families. We're getting lots of questions from employers who are looking forward to reopening and we're also getting questions from individuals who'd like to know what they, can they do to protect themselves as best as possible going forward. And from the employer's perspective, what can they do to create a, a, as safe of a workplace as possible for their employees and for their customers? And so today I've created a list, it's kind of a top 10 list, if you will, of things that you can do to create a safe workplace and to be safer in the community going forward. Number 10, sanitizing those commonly touched surfaces. Talking about cart handles, door handles, elevator buttons, electronic devices, anything that we're all touching in common, let's keep those sanitized. Number nine, maintaining the physical distancing, maintaining at least six feet apart. And let's put the handshaking aside for a while. Uh, we have no idea, you have no idea where someone's hands have been before they reach out to touch your hand. Uh, let's avoid handshaking for a while. Number eight, keep yourself physically strong, getting enough sleep, eating properly, getting exercise, and drinking lots of water. All of these things are important for maintaining your own health and making sure your immune system as, is as prepared as possible to fight off this virus if you are exposed to it. Number seven, avoid large gatherings. Number six, employ health screenings. Everyone who's going back to work is probably going to be presented with employee health screenings every day. I'm encouraging you to participate honestly in those screenings. You'll probably be asked about a temperature or a cough or a fever or a difficulty breathing that you may have. When you're asked these questions, please answer them honestly. It's really important information so that we can exclude people who are symptomatic from the workplace. Number five, hand washing. We've all learned a lot about hand washing in the past couple of months, 20 seconds, uh, doing it uh, aggressively and then wiping our hands with, uh, with paper towel, uh, preferably. The hand washing is critically important. Hand sanitizer is also useful. Uh, keep doing that. Number four, if you are sick, stay home. Please stay home. Uh, if it's a fever, coughing, of course, please stay home. Uh, if it's vomiting, diarrhea, any other symptoms, uh, at this time we can't have more illness and more virus uh, in our workplaces, in our public places, uh, than absolutely necessary. So please, if you're sick in any way, shape, or form, please stay home. Uh, number three, uh, if you can wear a mask, please do so. Please do so. We know that some people can't wear a mask because of, of health conditions they may have. Uh, the very young, less than two years of age, can't wear a mask. Uh, let's not stigmatize those people. Uh, let's not give them the evil eye or, or be uh, rude to them. But for all of us who can wear a mask in public, especially indoors in public places, please wear a mask. Number two, if you can work from home and you can work from home in a productive way, please do that. There are many of us who have office jobs uh, that can be just as productive from home uh, as we could be from the office. And as much as possible, uh, let's opt to work from home going forward. I know that's not a uh, solution that everyone can, can use, uh, but we can reduce uh, the, the density of, of occupancy in our buildings if we work from home, even if it's only a day or a couple of days a week. And number one, if you are in a vulnerable population group, especially uh, older in age, or if you have existing chronic health conditions, please stay home as much as possible you need to protect yourself, and we all need to protect those who are the most vulnerable in our community. 
Taken together, these 10 things are going to be very effective, I believe, in help keeping the prevalence of this illness down, making it as difficult as possible for this virus to move from one person to another. So thank you for watching. I'm Dr. Adam London with the Kent County Health Department, encouraging you to stay positive, stay heroic, and stay healthy. Thank you.